What's going on guys? I'm Blockhead and we're playing a little bit of Minecraft. Here we are on the NSG server. Skater's helping me out. Well, I'm helping him out. Well, I don't know. I know what you call it, but we're getting spawn, a uh, little spawn village going for everybody. I know, uh, just figured I'd give you guys a quick little update. Yeah, I'm just digging all this out, getting this going. Oop, need to do something about that. And yes, every, you know, this is uh, Venom's farm, and he knows he knows we're trying to fix up spawn, so we'll replant all this and kind of just basically move things that are in the way and fix this. But we're trying to get a little spawn going, and let me here I'll pillar up and show you exactly what we got going on. And yeah, that can give it. That gives you an idea. All right. What's he doing? What's he doing? <laughs> no, it's just... Oh, I missed him. <laughs> Alright. Uh, right over there is where my house is. Just to give you guys a point of reference. And, you know, then this is the main road that came out here. We're just kind of trying to get a few things lined out. We got a bunch of guys that are just kind of... I don't know, there's no, no real organization or anything. We wanted to get a spawn village going. I thought that'd be really, really cool. We're working on that, trying to get that going. And then if you go on down this road all the way to the end, on over that way, is this is not actually spawn. This is just a random village we decided that was going to be called Spawn Village, where everybody can kind of build a little bit of everything. Uh, but yeah, like I said, on over that way. And a little bit later in this video, I'm just kind of getting some of this video now while I'm working with Skater, trying to get all this stuff put together, just to show you guys, give you guys kind of an update on what's going on with Spawn Village. Wow, why am I glitching like that? But um, just to give you guys a little bit of an update, and on over that way, a little bit later, you will be seeing me build, I'll probably go ahead and start building an automated farm, an automated wheat farm, and that's kind of my goal with this is I thought it'd be really great for everybody to have you know un basically unlimited food so I'm gonna go over there to towards world spawn and here's a really cool thing that I've heard uh, I don't really know I've just kind of heard rumor of it but uh, wherever world spawn is located apparently a certain radius around that all the all the chunks are gonna be continuously loaded which would be pretty daggone cool uh, if you put I know I was talking to Skater about it before. He was talking about we could put a big iron golem farm there, as well as put a um, put a bunch of automated farms there, so that the plants would always be growing. So that'd be really really cool. And I think I'm gonna get going on the automatic farms. Uh, somebody will end up building a iron golem farm. But once everything updates to 1.7, man, you talk about slick. <laughs> that'd be a lot of fun. We'll have everything that pretty much everything that we need right there at spawn. Uh, I don't, I mean, iron is going to be huge for anybody who's starting to build redstone contraptions and things like that so that they can have, uh, have uh, hoppers, all the hoppers that they need, so. But anyway, just thought I'd give you guys a quick little update what we're doing here. Each plot, we're going to put build a road around each of it, just to kind of, that'll give people an idea of where the plots are going to, where the plots are, and then hopefully soon you'll start to see Start seeing this little spawn village start booming a little bit. And uh, that's pretty much all I got for you guys right now. But I will see you guys again here shortly. And we'll be doing something else. See you then. What's going on guys? Blockhead here. And here we are on the NSG server playing some more Minecraft. Crap. Go figure. Sun's going down. Right as I'm about to record. Damn it. <laughs> but here we are. We're actually at world spawn. We're not at, not at the spawn village that we're building, but uh, I did want to check something out. I heard a bunch of zombies. I don't hear them anymore. Never mind. Must have just been zombies that spawn there. It's all good. What do you say? Oh. I don't know. Yeah, something's going on, guys. I don't know what's up, but uh, every time I sign on to NSG, it seems like I get some lag issues, and I don't exactly know what's going on. Let's 
stack these under here. You guys will understand why here in a minute. A little bit more. And this does not look pretty right now. What I'm going to do, is I'm going to pretty it back up later. Alright, throw this in here. We'll get everything lit up. Hopefully we don't have too much of a problem with mobs, but I don't know. We may have to cut the video for night or something. I could probably just get something. Let's see. I'll just block this off, actually. We'll do it like that. Alright, here's what we're going to do, guys. I really wanted to build... I know I've been talking about, and I just mentioned it, actually, as we were recording the first part of the video over there in Spawn Village. So, what I'm doing, I'm here at World Spawn. That Right there where that portal is, is almost exactly where our actual spawn is. If you, you know, If it was your first time logging into the server, you would spawn right there. So, what I'm doing, I'm going to go ahead and build a wheat farm. And this is just the beginning workings of it. Uh, I went ahead and elevated it because I plan on doing all my redstone underneath to hide it. But uh, yeah, don't get too worried about this cobblestone. It'll definitely change. Uh, we want to make this thing look kind of cool. But I'm not going to do all that on camera. I'm just going to kind of kind of build the basics for now. Um, this here, I'm going to to do this out of something different just so we don't get confused. But... This, this row right here is actually not going to be like that. It's actually not going to be dirt. It's going to be a space right there and everything. Really, here's my goal. Let me explain. I'm going to build a bunch of different things. There's going to be this wheat farm. There's going to be a um, melon farm. Just about any kind of farm that you could possibly want. I'm going to go ahead and make all of them here at spawn. And it's going to be really neat. Uh, plan on making it to where you hit a button, everything comes down whole bunch of stuff and you collect it you replant and you're good to go which I may have made this too much no it should be good we'll be fine hmm. I don't know guys we'll have to figure something out I'm, I'm trying to figure out how, how to replant on this I need to I need to check. I think we may be able to replant from underneath, and I'm tempted to figure something out with that to where you go underneath and replant. We'll figure it out, but let's just start off with the basics. Water's going to flow eight blocks. So this last one, I'm going to want to go eight blocks from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what it's going to be on this last one. Oh, hell. These mobs are going to be a problem. Cut it out, asshole. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a quick cut right here. We'll take care of this mob problem so it's not so aggravating. We'll get back to daytime and then I will start recording again. I'll see you guys soon. Okay. Looks like we got a little bit of temporary peace and quiet, guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. And I'm stacking these up. We're just going to do the first part of this. Just so we can kind of get an idea of what's going on. Oh, here comes more mobs. If I need to cut the video again, I will. But I might kill this dude in iron armor real quick. And that spider. Alright, kill you. Oh, whoa. I don't know what, why I'm having a little bit of lag issues here, guys. Yeah, it seems to be doing better now. Alright. Good lord. Leave me alone, zombies. Alright. We're just going to start stacking this out. This one will go 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Because what we want, this since water flows 8 blocks... We only want this to flow seven blocks, and then it's going to drop down to the next level. So we can just release water from the top, and it'll flow all the way down these. And with these spawners, guys, or with these farms, guys, there's a lot of easy ways to do them, and to, way, to where you can make them do whatever you want pretty simply, and uh, don't really have to do much redstone, but, you know... I look at it as go big or go home. Let's uh, let's make these things look good. And basically, I want every single 
um, every single farm that we do, I want to just, you push a button and it goes. So here's what we're going to do first. Actually, you know what we may do? We may enclose this whole thing so we can work on the redstone. Yeah, let's do that. We'll do that. I'm going to kill all these guys. And then I'm going to take a quick commercial break. Well, not really. Commercial break. But Oh, please don't do it. Please don't do it, guy. Okay, we're good. Okay, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. All right. What we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and close all this in. And after I close all that in, we'll get back to building all this stuff. I'll see you guys shortly. No, no. We may be in trouble. We may be in trouble. Whoa, whoa, lag. Okay. Block us off, block us off, block us off, block us off. Okay. We're good. <laughs> oh, Lord, guys. I thought this was just going to be a real easy episode. We'd record us doing some redstone and we'd be done. Where is the... Oh, thank God. It's going to be day soon. Okay. I'm going to heal up. It's going to turn day and we'll be all right. <laughs> I got this thing closed in, so maybe the next night will be a little bit better. Um, but we're definitely struggling a bit. Oh, whoa. 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 Come on, guy. Come on. Leave it a rest. Oh. Shoot. Man, I will... That's crazy. The pathfinding of the AI in this game is freaking cool. Okay. We're mostly out of trouble now. Let's kill this last one. Where are you at? Oh. Okay. There's a creeper. Nope, can't help. Alright. So what we're going to do, I need a button. Just for experiment's sake. Actually, I'd like a... Let's get a wooden button. That's going to give us a little more time we can experiment. Yeah, this guy, I'd... He's going to come in and screw up the whole thing, so we're going to have to kill him. Alright. Now, there's going to be no more interruptions. Okay. <laughs> Much better. Alright. What we're gonna do, and I may shorten this up as well, um, just to come make the farms a little more compact. But we want to get a pretty good yield from all of our farms. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this here. Let's close this. This is all gonna be a wood floor here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm also going to put these here. So you can't. This is gonna just basically so I can hide my redstone. Um, See, you can see that block up there with the button on it. It's going to be the one that sends the redstone signal. We'll throw this block here. It's going to have a space. So let's do this. Throw this block here. And we're going to have to make a chest. Let's do that real quick. One, two. Just so we can get rid of all this crap we got in our inventory. Keep a couple of blocks on us, throw those seeds away, all of our mob drops, keep our food. Put these fancy ones up. <laughs> Put on the good ones. Okay, much better. Much better. Now, what we're going to want to do... We got this block here, we'll throw some redstone on it. And as you can see, let's move these so we can get to it. Hit my button. Redstone lights up. So, now, a couple of redstone torches. And all I'm doing is I'm bringing the signal down so I can do my redstone down underneath and hide it. So now, oh yeah, we need to take out that block. Okay, good. And that'll activate that. Throw some redstone on the ground here. Perfect. And let's go ahead and build us a little... What this is called, I'm going to build a timer. Um... Hmm, I wish I could explain it a little better while we're at it. Uh, I want this here, this here. Let's push this button. Make sure it works. Okay. Perfect. Well, here we want to invert the signal, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well. Um, hmm. Let's do it like... That'll invert the signal. And that with 
with a block, right? Huh. If I could put a block here, that would work. Uh. Hmm. Maybe? No. Son of a bitch. We want to make this as compact as possible. I don't think I've really mentioned that. And I'll explain what I'm doing. I'm trying to get this figured out real quick. I've got... All I'm doing is I'm trying to invert the signal. Make it not, you know, the way it's supposed to. Not, not just like... Alright, that'll work. I think. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Here we go. <laughs> Man. I haven't done that much redstone lately, so this can get a little bit dicey from time to time. We'll use that to turn the signal. And we'll just bring it back and throw it into that block right there. And I know in previous videos I've explained how this RS no latch works. Pretty much when you hit this button, it's going to send a signal to that, which turns this torch off and makes this one com all, this torch always on. So there's going to be the state of the RS no latch. I'm going to hit this. It's going to flip it over and turn this on. Is what it's going to do. So, now here's what I need to figure out. When it turns that on, it's also going to hit a timer. So, what I'm doing, I'm also going to send... Oh, let's just do it this way. This will make it simple. Or no, we can do it this. Do that, and that, and this. Oh no, that's not going to block it. <laughs> and that'll block it. So now we're going to send a signal this way, and what this is going to be is our timer. Ooh. And here's where we need a whole bunch of repeaters. I'm going to go ahead and see. Oh man, I forgot. I think I forgot to bring any smooth stone. Let's see here. I did not bring any. Wonderful. Oh, I do have a little bit. That'll give us a start, at least. Let's do this. Get me a couple of repeaters. Sorry about this, guys. Should have been more prepared. Okay. Four repeaters. Not nearly enough. Probably need about 20. But what we're going to do... Our repeaters are going to go down here. We're going to make a big string of repeaters, set up our timer, so that it comes back, and your last repeater or your last redstone, whatever it is, is going to hit this block. That's going to reset your timer and put the redstone signal back on this side, which essentially is going to turn everything off. And this is our output. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our output, and we're going to bring it this way. I'm going to take this repeater, because I'll need it. And I'm going to take this line all the way down this way. Um, let's see. Why is it lit up? Oh, yeah. Because we haven't reset it. So. Say, for example. Okay. Throw a repeater down here. Got a couple of redstone torches. I'm going to do a vertical wire this up. And I'd say everybody knows this by now, but if you don't, when I, red, red, when I wire this vertically, I'm just going to stack one on top of the other, come up. And this is not really how it's going to go, but say, for example, this is how our setup was. What I'm going to do, I'm going to run back over here. I don't have any iron. 
shit. <laughs> I'm not prepared for this at all. But this is just a rough idea. Give you guys a rough idea of it. I'm going to play around with it off camera a little bit. And we'll go from there. But what I'll do, I'll have a piston right here. And any time... See how this is on when I've got... When I hit the button, this comes on right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert this signal. Or no. I take that back. I don't want to invert the signal. Yes, I do. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to invert this signal. And I'll explain why here in a second. When you have this turned on, it's going to send a redstone signal this way. Well, if... I've got this turned on, say for example, it's sitting at its common state, here we can set that real quick, let's set it to where it's going to normally be sitting, alright, it's normally going to be sitting, this is going to be off, therefore this is going to be on, and when we come up here, you'll see how that will affect it, this piston is going to be on and pushing upwards which is going to have water behind it and it's going to prevent that water from flowing so as soon as we hit that button you can see I've got this wire here this wire will light up so I'm going to go uh, go here well oh, buttons and fingers in the wrong place Come on. get together blockhead hit that you see that comes on what it's going to do that's going to send redstone signal up this way turn this off well, shoot, I'm inverting it, so everything I just said is wrong. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, guys. Don't mean to be confusing. Didn't want to invert it because this torch right here is already going to invert it. So when I hit that button, this is it's going to turn this on. Oh, wow. Sorry, dude. And that is going to turn this torch off, which then is going to retract your pist pistons, and that and that signal is going to run all the way through here and hit all of these pistons. So no worries about that. What we're going to do, you'll see how we set all that up. But what we're going to do, set that up. It'll retract all of these pistons, and when it retracts all those pistons, then all the water will flow down. The timer will be set just to the amount, right amount of time to where when this redstone signal gets through all these repeaters, comes back and hits this and turns everything off, all of your all of your wheat and everything that's been flowing down, that's being pushed down by the water, down to here, where this hole's going to be, like we talked about earlier, which is right here, which we may have to goof around with some redstone here first. It's all going to flow down to there and drop all of the wheat in the very end here to be and then it should let's get this and block this up all that wheat will drop down in here and we'll have a single collection point for all of the all of the wheat the melons everything so that pretty much all we have to do is when somebody is in this area long enough they hit the button everything flows down and we have this huge collection of wheat and melons and I don't know cocoa beans or whatever whatever we decide to make but looks like the zombie hordes rolling in again I'm gonna get some more progress done on this and I'll be back and we'll get going from there see you guys shortly okay guys this is really pissing me off let me show you something all right I'm trying to run with my horse I'm hitting the button to go forward right now look at this like oh shoot <laughs> A terrible example. <laughs> Alright, I'm hitting the button right now. See, I'm, I'm just holding it down, just trying to run. And now I've let go of it. <laughs> and I'm in the tree. And... Yeah. So, I'm getting pretty frustrated with this. It's really aggravating. I can't even ride a horse on this server, so... I don't know what the hell's going on. Let's solve this problem right now. Give me my armor back. That'll teach you, asshole. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's going on. And maybe, yeah, you guys will probably hate me for killing them. I forget. We didn't. We didn't even name him yet. 
Who cares? Who cares? He's not your horse until you name him. So, yeah. Headed back to spawn. Just figured I'd show you guys that. Be right back. Later. Alright guys, we're back here. Looking at this thing. This is actually the next night. Um, one thing, I just want to apologize for uh, <laughs> killing the horse. I may have overreacted a little bit. Uh, the lag issue is totally resolved with the horse. Um, I've been able to ride horses since, so may have overreacted a little bit, and my poor little horsey died, but uh, it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll resolve that, or we'll get us a new horse, but guys, this is real exciting. We got her all worked out. Don't mess anything up. We got everything worked out on this. All the redstone is done. Well, I wouldn't say done. I still got to add a bunch more repeaters here. Uh, I may actually come up with a better timer system, but we got all the redstone in the world, so I'm not really too worried about that. We may just leave it as is and do our timers with repeaters. But one thing I was thinking about, or actually, let's go over what we've done. Actually, we already went over what we've done. Uh, pretty much, um, got this RS Noi latch here, and then when you hit the button, redstone hits this way, redstone turns, flips the RS Noi latch to where this signal's on. When that timer runs out, it'll come back and hit this, and the signal from the RS Noi latch being on will be hitting right here. And what we've done in the very back here, we've got sticky pistons with blocks of stone on top of it and let's run back here guys uh, come on and here we are oh uh, damn it <laughs> damn it damn it damn it boy all right and you can see it gives it a nice pretty clean look here when we push those buttons these will all drop down when we push the button and the timer will make it just all of it everything will run down here and in the end, what we'll end up having, we'll end up having hoppers here, which collect everything to one location. Right now, we don't have anything yet. Um, we'll, we'll get there. Really, what I want to do is I want to make hoppers here, take everything, and everything that goes in the hoppers go, all goes to one location, and then get sorted and put into its respective chests. That would be ideal, but uh, can't really get to that just yet. Um got a long long way to go but I think this is gonna be a really really cool addition to the server I think everybody's gonna love it and once 1.7 comes out and this entire area is loaded because like I said they're spawning and 1.7 will all be loaded this will be growing at all times I wish I had some bone meal let me check over here eh, we got a little bit of bone meal we'll do with what we've got I want to go ahead and run this thing and show you guys what's going on Especially before it gets to be night. And then also I've got this wooden walkway up the middle so that, you know, when you're coming down, if you come down right here, well, didn't do it that time, but sometimes if you jump over right onto crops, then it'll break it. So you, this way you can walk right down the middle and you don't have to worry about messing up the crops. But here's pretty much what's going to go, what's going to happen. And like I said, guys, the timing's not totally set up yet. i got to run back to my house and get some more repeaters. What it'll do, the water will knock all of that down. See, it, it cut off, but it cut off too early. Definitely going to need to make that longer. Because we're going to have to have the water running long enough that the stuff that's all the way up at the top here can flow down. And I also need to check, I need to make sure that the water isn't going to be running over top of this stuff so long that it messes up my crops. Because I don't want to have to retill anything. And see, all my all my drops are right here. All the wheat and seeds. So, eventually we'll have a hopper system. But, you know, we're just getting started here, guys. And, truthfully, things kind of look shitty, too. We haven't even made it look pretty. Um, I'm going to make everything look good. I'm going to make everything... Um, going to make everything look good. Going to make it all automated and everything. We'll, we'll come back with a couple more videos. Every every Each different type of farm that we make. I'll come back and do that, and then we may do a little bit of building on this and make it look pretty uh, in a video. So some of that stuff will be done off camera because I don't want to get this here. I mean, it took a long time to get all this set up because 
truthfully, I forgot how to do the, <laughs> forgot how to do everything a little bit, so ended up with a little bit of trial and error. What we're we gonna do? I'm gonna head back to my house right now, and I, think I got a few other little things to talk about and show you guys, and then after that, I'm gonna call it quits, and we'll end the episode. See you guys here in just a sec. All right, we're back. Kill this guy real quick. Dang it. Don't interrupt me, bro. Take that. Oh, here comes another one. All right, let's... All right, right here, this is Juice's house. This is on the way back. If you head this way, headed towards World Spawn and my, um, my farm. Oh, more of you? Are you kidding me? Okay. D-bag. No, baby. Little baby. But I'm going to run on down this way. Here's my house. And one of the things, I know I showed you guys uh, Spawn Village at the beginning of this. Run back to my house. Haven't really made any progress at all on my house. Uh, pretty much just been, oh yeah. Forgot about this. Yeah, Nav and Quinny, uh, <laughs> they left me a present. Blockhead, we love you. Heart, Nav and Quinny. Oh, come and get it. Come on, you can't do shit in the water. Yeah. Get owned. Yeah. There were some villagers in there, but, uh... Yeah. I'm guessing the zombies got to them, because they could have climbed up right here. So. Oh, well. It happens. We'll have to get some new villagers. And... What else is new? Oh, yeah. I breeded... <laughs> I breeded the sheep and cows and chickens. DJST2. Good. That's DJ. And uh, he's a new member to the server. But apparently he bred a lot of my sheep and my cows. And then, yeah, he said, still no melon seeds for hardcore. Yeah. <laughs> still a little bit bummed about that. Yeah, he he's, he's making a reference to my hardcore series where... You know, must, I'm sure you guys have seen it, but, oh man, I can't find any melons in that thing, and I'm so, or mel melon seeds, and I need them for health potions. It sucks. But, that's about all I got. Oh yeah, let me show you my stock of, mm, look at all that. Really stocking up on the wool, real excited about that, and, oh yeah, I've been doing, actually today, while I was mow mowing the yard and doing some other stuff, and, you know, just yard work. I sat at the spawner and what did I get? I got a couple of swords. I got this Bane of Arthropods 4 I've had. I got this one, that's new. And I got my Smite 4. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of stuff over at the over at the farm. So yeah, these picks are actually old picks I've had. But I got I think three new swords and three new picks. So that's really cool. Let's throw these I need to organize my chest too. Alright, but let's talk future game plans. I know I've talked about I want to have kind of an underground layer, so to speak. Um, I don't know. I, I kind of I kind of like the idea of being the, the evil guy on the server. <laughs> I'll set us up an evil lair so that people have to come through the evil lair and uh, if they want to find us. We may even set up some traps and things, but we're going to build us a real inconspicuous house up top here and then we're gonna make an evil lair and I've been building up some stuff um, got some TNT I've built up which I've been saving that up for a while uh, I'm gonna blow out a basically what I'm gonna do is go down pretty low blow out a big hole and we're gonna build us a base underground it's gonna be really cool I'm really excited about it and we'll do let's see we'll have all our farms down there we'll have a big storage room and we'll have all kinds of stuff so, that's the game plan. Um, but shh, guys, don't tell anybody where we're at. It's top secret. <laughs> anyway, I appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you next time.